All new at 11, we're hearing from a former UCF student who rode out the storm in the Bahamas. His home city of Freeport on Grand Bahama was one of the hardest hit. News 6's Troy Campbell spoke with him and joins us live at the Orlando International Airport. Troy, how is he doing after all of this? Well, Eric, yeah, so the airport here behind me, they've been sending out and chartering out private aircrafts to the Bahamas uh, with relief aid that was donated from right here at home. So the former Orlando resident that we spoke with tonight, he recently just moved back to the Bahamas last month. He says that Hurricane Dorian has absolutely devastated his island. I'm just grateful that I have somewhere to stay and I'm alive. Speaking to News 6 from Freeport on Grand Bahama Island, former University of Central Florida student Sidney McIntosh describing what he witnessed Monday afternoon as Hurricane Dorian sat over the Bahamas and water came rushing inside of his home. The water was very deep when we were leaving, though. Uh, it was coming in very quickly. He says his neighbor's vehicle became their only hope to get to higher ground. We had to hop on the back of his truck during the middle of the hurricane and uh, ride through. The truck was almost completely submerged while we were going through. There were wires, like, you know, uh, flying all over the place. But he says even the shelter became unsafe. After we got to the shelter, our roof did blow off. McIntosh says it wasn't until the next day he was able to get into contact with his father, not knowing if he made it to safety as well. I did not know where my father was. You know, we lost communication with him due to him not having a phone and what's not. And it was scary because we knew that he did need help because his area was flooding. He says he knows several people who have died in wake of the storm and supplies while still arriving to Freeport are hard to come by. I'm very appreciative. I'm, I'm happy to see that, 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 that there's aid for my people in this time of need. And McIntosh says tonight he is able to have some electricity with um, the help of a generator. However, he says his house will likely have to be completely rewired before electrical crews can get that rehooked up for him. He also says most people on his island of Grand Bahama, they didn't evacuate prior to Hurricane Dorian because they pride themselves on dealing and experiencing with hurricanes all their lives. However, he says they've never seen anything like this. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. So many people suffering there tonight, Troy. Thank you.